Okay, this video is going to explain a little bit about the test statistic for the difference between proportions. Um, so here we go, test stat for the difference between proportions. This is what it looks like. Yikes, that's big and ugly. Um, well, let me explain just everything that we've got here. This part is pretty easy. That's the difference between your two sample proportions, whatever th those two may be. So you should be able to pick those out from your problem. This part right here, P sub 1 minus P sub 2, the parameter for the first one minus the parameter for the second one, this most of the time is going to be equal to 0. So just keep that in mind. This is most of the time is going to be equal to 0. In fact, for my class, if you're taking my class, that is going to be 0 every single time. Because we wanted to find out if there is a difference. If there is a difference, then it's going to be this, the parameters will be something besides 0. So we are assuming that it's equal to 0. Well, now we get down here to the standard error. And you see this p hat pooled and q hat pooled. What does that mean? Well, p hat pooled is basically found using another formula, which is this one right here. Let me make this just a little bit bigger and you can see it. Um, <clears throat> lots of times when you have an example or a problem in your textbook or whatnot, they're going to tell you something like 5 out of uh, 200 males uh, prefer this and uh, 10 out of... Um, you know, 220 females prefer this. So this right here, the 5 would be your x sub 1, the 10 would be your x sub 2, and then the 200 and the 220 would be your n sub 1 and your n sub 2. This is called pooling your data. And the reason why we need to pool our data when we're working with uh, a test statistic for the difference between proportions is because we don't have anything to go by. So we have to use something to create this standard standard error. And the thing that we have to use to, to, uh, to create this standard error is the pooled p hat. This estimates, basically we use the pooled p hat to estimate the standard deviation of this sampling distribution when we're comparing the difference between two proportions. So that's a little bit of an explanation of how you can use this formula and what it means.